So this is my Google Pixel 3 and I've been using it for a while and the one, you know, if you guys watched my video where I discussed the things that need to change about it, you guys would have noticed the one thing that I really, really didn't like was the button placement right over here. So if you guys can see, um, the buttons are placed really close to each other and there's almost no way to differentiate them. Uh, they're just like, they feel the same. So unless you're like, even muscle memory fails me sometimes because I hit the power, uh, power instead of volume up or volume up instead of power. Uh, overall, it is quite annoying. Uh, another big problem is you guys can see the smudges on the glass. Now white does a very decent job of hiding everything, but uh, if you have a black phone, oh God, I can't even imagine how bad that must be. So um, the thing with the, the Pixel was that I, I knew I had to get a case for it. Uh, and Rinky, uh, R-I-N-G-K-E, Rinky, however they pronounce it, uh, they were kind enough to send me this one out for free. Uh, now they didn't pay me anything, but they did send it out to me for free. And they sent me out a couple, but this one is the one that I really, really like. Um, the Rinky one, it's just, um, the one thing that they got perfect in my opinion is the buttons. So what they did here is, let me focus on this. If you guys can see, the power button here is textured and the volume up and down, they're kind of uh, concave, like they're angled. So you can actually tell which is up and which is down. So that has been a huge lifesaver. I can finally tell uh, what is what. It's a nice clear, uh, clear back as well. And the design is actually pretty cool. I, I didn't think it would look that cool, but uh, once you put the phone in, uh, the white and the black just look super cool. Uh, there you go. It's just uh, a really nice design. Overall, the case has been actually really nice. I love the way it feels in the hand. Um, I did not expect this, you know, when uh, there's, I, I use a lot of cases on a lot of different phones and generally they, they all kind of get annoying to me after a while, but this one is really nice, mainly because of those buttons. I really love that uh, you can use these buttons and just like, you know, you don't have to look, you can feel. The power button is textured, it's ridged. The volume up is like, it's facing upwards, like it's at an angle upwards, and the volume down is at a, like an angle downward. So you know which one is which by just feeling them, which you can't say with the Pixel on just the normal buttons. Let's see uh, if I can get this to focus here, so you guys can see. Uh, there you go. So you guys see the buttons are just like, they definitely fix one of the biggest problems I had with this phone. Um, and it has actually quite a significant lip around the top as well. So I have this tempered glass screen protector installed and the uh, lip of the case actually extends beyond the tempered glass as well. So I am, uh, you know, this is going to definitely protect against drops and uh, falls that I have no doubt that this will easily uh, save your phone from a decent drop. The, the way it's designed, everything looks just uh, the way it's just pretty strong. The, the sides are actually like designed in a way to definitely resist impact. Uh, it, it has like this, it, it doesn't have a rounded corner, it has a squared off corner, where if it does fall, it's definitely going to uh, kind of absorb that and it's gonna displace it really nicely. So uh, the Rinky case is 11, it's $12 on Amazon. I'll have the link down in the description below. I definitely recommend this one. It's, uh, especially if you have trouble with the power and volume button, this is a case that I would definitely tell you to go for. This is definitely one of my favorite Pixel cases. Um, I, I looked at the Google ones, I didn't find them interesting. The, they just don't, uh, they just didn't feel right. Plus they're super expensive as usual. Uh, this is very, uh, I think this is priced perfectly. And even if you don't, uh, you know, if you get bored of it after a while, it's not that expensive that you have to be like, oh no, I, I just put too much money into it. So, so this is it. This is the Rinky Fusion X. If you guys have any more questions about the case, uh, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. I'll have a link to Rinky's website and uh, the product on Amazon. So if you guys want to check this out, uh, go ahead. They have a bunch of other cases as well. They're the overall, they're really nice cases. Uh, they're priced very affordably. They're all under like 15 bucks like that. They're so really uh, good quality cases for a good price. Uh, they're all on Amazon, so I'll have the links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy New Year. I'll catch you in the next one.